Hey everybody, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here, and today we are talking about swatting because swatting is now being used against politicians here in the United States. And I get it, we live in politically contentious times. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. And with these political divisions have come some startling polling results before we get into what swatting is and what actually happened. Roughly one in five Americans now believe that political violence is okay. That's two in 10 Americans, basically, that think that political violence to achieve their ends is fine. That's terrifying. That's 20% of the entire population. So it should be no surprise that a controversial politician would basically be getting swatting attempts against her. And here's what's going on. Now, like I said, I'm not getting political. I've said this a million times and I will say it again. Cybersecurity is agnostic to politics, but we are not immune from it. Essentially, uh, I don't care if you love or hate the politicians I'm about to start talking about or the politician I'm about to start talking about. The point is, is that what we are talking about is something that is highly illegal and shouldn't happen to anybody, no matter what you think of their personal politics, love them or hate them. So who we are talking about here is Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's a Republican from Georgia and uh, she has been one of the most controversial politicians since she was elected a couple of years ago, and she was involved in two swatting attempts within 48 hours, according to local police. Now, if you didn't know, swatting is the act of basically placing a fake emergency call to 911 operators who often dispatch armed SWAT teams to what they think are violent situations. Swatting attacks have been used as pranks uh, before or as a form of harassment, but they have also led to fatal consequences. A few years ago, uh, somebody was unfortunately shot when uh, basically somebody got into an argument online. A gamer got into an argument with another gamer, and so the one gamer swatted him when the other gamer basically gave him a fake address. People showed up, the SWAT team showed up the wrong house and shot this guy on his porch. Uh, basically, here we are. So this is obviously a very serious issue. Now, the police in Rome, Georgia, where Representative Green lives, told Axios and other news outlets that it responded to a quote-unquote swatting call at the Green residence at 2.53 a.m. this Thursday morning. Now, the call was from an internet chat about a male who was possibly planning to shoot his family members and himself at Representative Green's home. Apparently, they called the like a suicide crisis hotline, which basically forwarded, the, forwarded it to 911, and here we, are, here we are. Now, the caller said that a male who, quote, came out as transgender, end quote, had, quote, claimed they shot the family. Now, Representative Green confirmed in a tweet Thursday morning that she was, quote, swatted again last night, end quote. She did not tweet any further details about that second incident, and her office has not responded uh, basically to uh, requests by the, the media. Now, police say that a computer-generated voice behind the swatting attempt, uh, you know, ha essentially happened, meaning they're leveraging technology to obfuscate where they're calling from and what their voice is. So it's not me saying, oh my God, I'm about to shoot everybody at the greenhouse. I would be using some kind of a computer-generated voice. So it would be, it basically would be much harder to track me down if I was the person that was doing this. And for the record, police, if you're watching this, I have not done this. I will never do this. There you go. Now, we, as I mentioned, have seen deaths happen due to swatting. And so I speculate that this is an attempt to possibly have Representative Green shot by police and hear me out. We are living, as I said, in politically contentious times and 20% of our fellow Americans think it's okay to use violence to get their means and basically Marjorie Taylor Greene or MTG, as she is commonly referred to, is a, one of the most controversial figures in Congress. Now, as I mentioned, I think this might have been an attempt to actually get her killed by police, and here's why I think that that is a possibility. I obviously do not know this for sure. MTG is a staunch supporter and advocate of firearms. Uh, she's very highly rated by the NRA, or National Rifle Association, and so by virtue of that, she would definitely have firearms in her home. So imagine it's 3 a.m., you're asleep, and someone just breaks down your door. Loud bang, they're coming through the front door. If you've got a gun, you're going to go retrieve that. I would do the same thing and prepare to defend yourself and your family with lethal force. You don't know if it's the police or a burglar. And even if they're shouting, police, police, you know, put your guns down, that could possibly be a ruse to lower your guard as let's say you're sitting in your bedroom, not your front door, and you don't necessarily know. Now, fortunately, no deaths were involved here. Fortunately, um, information from 
from the first swatting incident, which probably put the police department on high alert for the second swatting incident. But after the first incident, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene did come out and say, like, thank you for the police. This was obviously de-escalated. No one was harmed. Nothing was destroyed, et cetera, et cetera. The police shot nobody. And Marjorie Taylor Greene or any of her family members shot at the police, which, you know, quite frankly, is fortunate. Again, I don't care what your politics are. I don't care if you love or hate Marjorie Taylor Greene. The bottom line is, is that these kinds of things, especially now that they are leveraging internet technology to obfuscate where they're calling from, who they are, what their voices are, is a very serious problem that we have to deal with because there are incidents where the SWAT team legitimately needs to go out and protect somebody's life. There are legitimate hostage situations. There are legitimate people that go off the deep end and start shooting. We need SWAT teams. We really do for these kinds of reasons. So putting this out there puts a whole bunch of people, especially innocent people in this situation, at risk. And so hopefully... Uh, we will see an end to this. Hopefully this will no longer, uh, you know, happen, but I'm not expecting that to happen. I would expect that there are going to be more attempts against uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene or possibly other members of Congress. So she might have very staunch reporters that say, you know what, I they can do it to Marjorie Taylor Greene. I'm going to do it to, you know, I don't know. Uh, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is, you know, very liberal on the Democratic side. And here we are. Again, I don't care what your politics are. This is simply wrong. Nobody should be shot uh, basically by calling in a fake violence act that requires a SWAT team. So that is your news of the day. And I think it's kind of an important one. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everyone.